Here is a list of 10 schools that you simply will not believe exist. From schools that teach the art of prostitution to schools that will let students pick whatever they want to do with their education. This is truly a place for everyone, no matter what their learning style is. And maybe when this video is done, you can find your dream school and get that application in as soon as possible. Number 10. Brooklyn Free School Brooklyn Free School is divided into two, the upper school for children between the ages of 11 and 18 and the lower school for students between the ages of 4 and 11. There is no curriculum. Students are allowed to choose any class they want and are allowed to stay away from school if they wish. The students make the school rules. Some students might decide to be alone and carry out independent studies, which could last years. Some students might decide to play, wander around, or just simply nap. Number 9. The Philadelphia School of the Future The West Philadelphia School of the Future was opened in 2006. The school does not require students to have books. Instead, students use computers. Mathematics is taught with OneNote, a note-taking app, and teachers use computerized smart boards instead of traditional dry erase or blackboards for instruction. Students use digital lockers that open with the flash of an ID card. Rather than using the normal letter grading scale, the school uses grades ranging from advanced to not on the radar. The schedule begins at 9 a.m. and ends at 4 p.m. to replicate a normal workday instead of a typical school day. Number 8. Hamburger University that's right, Hamburger University was founded in 1961 by Ray Kroc to teach the secrets of McDonald's to eager minds. The first university is located in Oak Brook, Illinois, a western suburb of Chicago, but has since spread to Tokyo, London, Sydney, and Shanghai. And before you laugh about the whole thing, keep in mind that getting into Harvard is currently easier than in McDonald's University in China, since less than 1% of the applicants will eventually be accepted there. Number 7. Abo Elementary School Abo Elementary School in Artesia, New Mexico is located about 40 miles south of Roswell and was part of a pilot program in the 1960s. The Office of Civil Defense wanted to see if schools could make good public shelters, and they paid a portion of the total cost of the school. That's how we ended up with the first underground elementary school that doubled as an advanced Cold War fallout shelter. Number 6. Boat Schools Twice a year, Bangladesh experiences floods which leave millions of its citizens without access to clean water, electricity, and other necessities. It becomes difficult for children to attend schools and for those schools to keep their doors open. To combat the challenges caused by the annual floods, they built houses, healthcare centers, and schools that float. Each of these schools is solar-powered and equipped with laptop computers, internet access, and a small library. They pick their students up from docks and riversides, then dock somewhere so that the class can begin. Number 5. Tiny Tit School Even though nothing's really weird when it comes to the school's agenda or nature, its name gives it a naughty character. Wouldn't you feel strange saying you graduated from Tiny Tit School? Like, come on, be honest. Number 4. Harvey Milk High School the Harvey Milk High School is a public high school in the East Village of New York City designed for, though not limited to, gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender youth, as well as those questioning their sexuality. It is named after San Francisco, California, Supervisor Harvey Milk, the first openly gay man to be elected to office. Number 3. Cave School Guizhou is one of the poorest provinces in China. Water and food shortages due to massive desertification and drought have left the region often struggling to keep its people alive. Despite these shortcomings, the Miao people of southern Guizhou made the best of their situation by opening an elementary school made in a cave. The school opened in 1984 and at its peak employed eight teachers who taught 186 students who would otherwise have no education. Number 2. Train Platform School India is home to nearly half of a billion children, many of whom live in extreme poverty and unfortunately, many of them don't have access to an education. A school teacher known as Indrajit Karana, who took the train on a daily basis to work, knew these children couldn't afford school and without education, they would not be able to elevate themselves out of poverty. 
So, she decided to take the school to these children and thus was born the Train Platform School, with the formation of the Ruchika Social Service Organization in 1985. Number 1. Prostitution School This is literally a school like no other, one that offers professional instruction in how to sell your body. For about a $112 fee, not bad, eh? Pupils at Trabajo Ya, which means work now, in Valencia, Spain, are offered a basic course in professional prostitution with maximum discretion. However, Spain's first prostitution school still faces legal challenges from campaigners seeking to close it amid growing public concern. I mean, I, I guess I can see why. 